Hey y'all, it's Greg. I'm gonna show you around our 68 Silver Streak Saber. It's 18 half foot. Um, I guess the best thing to do is just kind of walk around really quick and give you a basic look at it. As space allows. Back up a little bit here. Mm -hmm. All right. So the features of this you're probably familiar with if you're looking for the trailer. Um, really, these uh, front wraparound windows are key to this the desirability for this model. Um, these two happen to be in very good shape. No cracks. Give you some details in here. I don't know if you can see. There's me. Actually, I had begun to take off the excess sealer that they had around. You can see here that these guys, previous to us, had caught that and it had gotten a little bit. Well, they weren't very good at what they did. And I had gone to this side and just took off the excess car really carefully. Anyway, it's as most 50 year old trailers go, it's a restoration project. But the nice thing is it's in in great, sh great shape and you got a lot, good solid basis to begin with. Um, all the running lights work. I know the wiring works. I replaced these in the front. Also replaced the ones in the back. The ones on the side, the running lights, those gels need to be replaced. They're really easy to find on Vintage Trailer Supply. Here's the new ones in the back. Actually, those are new, actually new old stock. It's ingenious. Retention device that they put on this one. Yeah, so these on this uh, on the driver's side of the trailer, they work fine. The gels are in place. Um, all these levered windows work great. In fact, I have uh, I redid the uh, gaskets on all of these, on the front ones, and also on the kitchen window. I redid those. And I've got all the gaskets that uh, need to, I've got all the, you know, linear footage of gaskets that need to be replaced on the side. But that said, even though these are old and crispy and 50 years old, the ones there, the way these are designed, I mean, you have to have a driving rainstorm to get any rain in here, but all these work great. And that's really great. There's no, no broken glass. Uh, gosh, what else? So the old water heater is no longer in there. Um, it was taken out. So it has no hot water, but I know that you can order aftermarket water heaters. Um, that right there is the electrical service panel. I just got a paper towel in there. Actually, there's some plastic in there now to discourage rodents. But um, I think it's got a 25 foot service cord. Inverter's in great shape. Um, and your water fill tank is in the drain as well. The tank is 20, no, it's 35 gallons, I believe. 35 gallons, it's underneath the bench seat inside. Um, oh yeah, this is important. These are the, these are the shields that protect the the side windows, the wraparound windows, and those are intact, they work great. Let's see, the door, let me try to back up here now. Door functions well, hold back, hold back has a, let's see, previous owners had riveted on the, it's just a little 90 degree that has popped off. I was gonna fix this for another half, but, that's the original latch, but it's a two-part door you're probably familiar with. 
I did put a new screen on it. And it's, it's kind of nice. So, let's see if I can back up enough to show you guys. But the, the inside door can be held back. That latch is actually supposed to hold back there on that. To hold the door back. But then you've got a, a screen door that you can close and enjoy some breeze. Let's go inside. Oh yeah, step back up a little bit. Original step. Goes in place just fine. Okay. So I think Barb told you guys that she redid the upholstery, uh, meaning not just the upholstery, but she also we got new cushions. But there's the kitchenette, the dine-out set. But the all the cabinetry is original. All the stowaways, all the hardware is original to those. They work great. I got the little the trailers are on an angle right now, so it's not gonna I don't think the magnet will hold those up, but when it's level, the magnet does a pretty good job of holding that. That one seems to be working fine on this angle. But there, there are three of those doors. Um, you can probably see that the linoleum is kind of that turquoise with some gold fleck in it. Real pretty. And of course, matching kitchen with the turquoise fridge and the oven um oven works great fridge look works great the fridge works on propane as well as 110 when you're hooked up um the oven is all the oven and stove are all propane and it's even got a vent hood that also operates towel rack up there again all this is really original nothing really has been modified in here but for the new upholstery and the flooring so the flooring is something that i didn't really like i wanted to replace it with some old uh, some of the original uh, linoleum and that's of course easily available some of those retro linoleums really look good in here and I was going to do that. Didn't do it now, but the, for now it's final plank. Um, service doors underneath the bench seat. I've got the the bench seat out about four inches right now, but it tucks up against the stowage area. All the cushions are removable underneath both of these benches is the large 35 gallon tank. Uh, a clean water tank. Speaking of water, um, so I've got the air conditioning and ducting in here right now and the bear spray. But sink is in really good shape. Again, sorry for the mess. I just pulled this out from our land back here. But um, yeah, it's got the original, original sink. Um, drains great, does not leak underneath. Um, here's the pump switch right here. Let's see if it gets power. I think my battery may be dead. I need to charge it back up. Deep cell, deep cell battery. Because it has been sitting out on the land for a couple of months. Um, what else? Ah, storage closet in the back. It's kind of neat. It's got the original wiring diagram in there. I don't know if you can see that. But the original wiring diagram is right there next to the fuse box. Um, there's an air conditioner that we've got. Let's see. This is the only kind of janky thing about this is this door. I've always wanted to put a better piece of hardware on it. Looks like the previous users had a mirror on there. I don't know if the mirror was from the factory or not, but... Um, really what it needs is just a little, little handle there to keep that shut. 
the bathroom. It's got the, it's got a shower curtain ring that goes around. We do not have the original curtain, but we've got the original um, sliding louver door. You can see there. Oops, trip. <laughs> uh, the sliding louver door. It's got the snap, snap close right there. Um, it's got the original. I don't know if that. I know the shower head is original, as you can see, and it still functions. Um, we really never use it, but um, same goes for the toilet. The toilet does function. We we began using it when we first got it, and then just decided that we were gonna just try camp places where we didn't have to store black water. And that said, the black water tank underneath the toilet has been um, emptied and I sanitized it and so there's no black water smell anywhere it's not really that bad if you use a good of course you guys probably know we were using the biopack which is a really good way to keep the toilet smells nice um back lured window here this one right here has a, this is the only lure window that doesn't work, it's in the bathroom. It does work, however, you can probably see right there, there is a small crack. And that's in the, that's on that collet that goes around the barrel. And um, that makes it harder to open that window. However, there's definitely a way to fix that. They've got assemblies that you can buy. You can always snap that off and just buy that assembly again, but I think you could probably fix that fairly easily. Um, let's see. Looks like the toilet, uh, toilet paper roll and the old um, towel rack. These are plastic. These have been broken long ago. But they're still there, so you can see if you ever want to take it back to the original, you can see exactly what the design was. And that's that. Um, I think Barb probably told you that the water lines in here were replaced with PEX. And I can't. Anyway, they, they just run along the back of this back closet. And when I was in Utah, I thought I drained the lines and I got out into some negative temperatures and got a small leak in there. So that needs to be fixed. Uh, it's just PEX that runs. It's pretty easy to pull from the, the sink to the closet area. And then it goes underneath to the, um, the water tank. This is the old heater, propane heater, underneath the sink. Works really good. And it is safe. I tested it. I was hesitant at first, but I did test it. That right there, I believe, oh gosh, I forget what this is, but I think it's a heating unit. No, no, that may be the water filter. That's what that is. Water filter is original there. Cutting board, matching cutting board. Drawers are in great shape. There's three of those. Gotta lift them up a little bit. Open them. That's about it. The oven, interior. Fairly clean. We don't really use that very much. We use a lot of campfires. Definitely use this there in the morning for coffee. Um, okay. The vent up above. Worm gears work great for this. As you can see, the screen is still intact. Oh, last but not least, this is the original um, star glass for the trailer with the gold trim to match everything so um barb did the 
the um, shoot window shades. She did those, and she did the upholstery on the the couch with the. It's a nice firm, thick mattress that is actually fairly comfortable. Um, we sleep two adults here. If you had two small children, they could sleep here fairly easily because the table um, folds down. Actually, it doesn't fold down, it drops down. As you can see, it drops down and, you're, and that pole goes up and the tabletop becomes the base for the bed. And these four cushions fold, go out to flat. So then you end up being able to pull this out to a full-size bed, the large bench, the couch, and then the two benches fold, fold out to what amounts to about a twin mattress. Maybe a little bit wider than a twin, but good for two kids. Four adults in here. That's definitely pushing it. <sighs> um, oh yeah, little modern accoutrements. I think the previous owner had put some LEDs in. We've got, uh, Got a red LED in here to not ruin your night vision, as well as a white one. And then an LED outside right here. Um, there is a USB charging port right here, the 110 outlet. And this is the exterior white light switch if you're hooked in. We're hooked up, that would be working for you. Um, some of the old, uh, is it like a, um, I lost her description here, but this is one of those little uh, compliance badges that they used to put in the trailers back then. How's that for description? Here's the old serial number area right here. Serial number 397, model 68, that'd be 1968. Plumbing, heating, and that's that. Made in the state of California. And here we are back here by the boot. And this model did come with a boot. I've looked, in, looked at um, these trailers and all these boots are different. All the bumpers are different and all the boots are different. I don't know what facilitated that, but this one has a round bumper. And I'll go ahead and show you what's inside there. We've got a full size spare in there. There's a, I, I keep the jacks, leveling jacks in here, the spare. And some camp tools. That's basically it. But it's nice having extra space. Uh, what else? Brake lights are fine. It would pass inspection if it needed one, but it never does. And that's about it, guys. I could show you the top, but. The nice thing is there's no, no trees are fell on the top of it. But hopefully that gives you a good idea. There's an old silver streak badge. Actually the dude that had this prior to us up in Idaho, he made that. Which I think is kind of kind of campy. Um the original silver streak uh badge would have gone there with an identical one in the back. I actually have one that I have with a buddy who has a CNC uh, router kit right now. And he was going to duplicate that for me in some extruded PVC. And the idea there was just to have a couple of matching badges in the front and back, silver streak. And then the actual um, kind of pill-shaped saber would have gone into that. But you can see where the original uh, holes are. I've just got some beetle tape in the holes right now just to keep water out. That's about it, guys.
Thanks. Get way back. <laughs> 